What's up guys, how's it going? My name is Tyson, and today we're gonna to be diving into the aspect of contact management inside of ClickFunnels 2.0. Specifically, we'll be covering how to delete and uh, GDPR delete contacts inside of the platform here. This is gonna be super useful if you've accumulated a lot of test emails like me, and you'd like to remove them so you can decipher which ones are the good ones, which ones you actually want to send emails to, and which ones you do not, All right? So with that said, let's go ahead and dive into the platform here, and I'll show you how to set everything up step by step. Okay, I'm starting off on my dashboard here inside of ClickFunnels 2.0. Now from here, let's go ahead and click on contacts in that left-hand navigation. Once that loads, what we wanna do from there is head directly to the contact you are trying to remove or delete, All right? Now, before we actually try to delete anything, just know that if any of the contacts that you are trying to, to delete have an active product, meaning a subscription or a payment plan that's still active, you first need to you know, refund that or, or cancel that, uh, make sure that is no longer active. And then from there, you will also wanna make sure that there is not any active memberships or enrollments, right? If there are either of those options, again, either an active product uh, that they are still paying for or a enrollment, uh, you wanna make sure to get rid of both of those first, and then you can go in and delete the, the actual contact. All right, um, if we go into contact profile, you can just click on the three dots right over here on the right hand side, right next to view full profile, you'll see the option for remove contact and GDPR delete. Now you'll always see GDPR delete for every contact, even if they have a product. Uh, but the difference between the two is this is gonna permanently delete this contact. So even if they try to opt in again in the future, it will not allow them to use that same email, right? It's going to essentially just it's blacklist that email. It's gonna block that email just because they no longer wanted to receive um, you know, any messages from you on a system-wide level. But anyways, as long as they, if they use a different email, then it would let them create another contact profile and that'd, that'd be totally fine. Just know if you end, end up doing this option, you will not be able to use this email again, or they will not be able to opt in with that same, same email address uh, for a second time. Uh, however, if you just regularly delete the contact or remove the contact, uh, they still can come back and re-opt in and purchase products again as perfectly fine and it will allow them to do so. So a little bit of difference there, but just remember that the remove contact will not display if you do not have a, um, or if you have any active enrollments or products for that contact. All right, if, you, though, if that is clear, then you'll see both options just like this uh, to either remove contact or GDPR delete. Now, one thing to mention for the GDPR delete option here is that once you click on it, you have to actually type in the word delete in all caps, all right? After that, you can proceed and then you'll be good to go, okay? Um, for delete, all you have to do is simply just go over here and remove a contact and after that, you are good to go. That's pretty much it. That's all there really is to it when it comes to uh, removing a contact or deleting them rather. Um, now, let me give you an example of what it looks like if there's an active product. Okay, found a contact that has a product attached to it. In this case, Kanye East purchased a product, uh, which is why if we click on the three dots here, we will not have an option to actually remove that contact, right? Again, GDPR will always display, but the option to remove or delete rather uh, will not appear until you remove the contact. So you have to go to orders and then from there you have to actually uh, make sure there's no active transactions or enrollments, which there is in this case. Okay, and that's pretty much it when it comes to removing or GDPR deleting the contact. Nothing too crazy here. Just know that it is there in case you ever need to use it, all right? Uh, with that said, if you have any questions or you like, would like me to clarify a little bit further, feel free to leave a comment down below. I'm more than happy to do so or help as best I can. Uh, otherwise, if you enjoyed the video, please feel free to uh, give me a thumbs up here and uh, subscribe for more content just like this, all right? With that said, thank you for watching, guys, and hope you have a fantastic rest of your day.